Okay, so I've got my podcast stuff set up here on the computer, and what had happened was I was uh, going to start putting my granite backsplash up in my kitchen, and I came home one day, and the flooring of my house has split um, where the wood is, and I said, hmm, that's kind of weird. It is winter time around here, but that immediately told me that something has moved underneath the house, so instead of just uh putting the backsplash up i decided to call a uh, foundation company and the foundation company had came to my house and gave me a quote of twenty thousand dollars to fix my problem here so uh what i'm doing here uh terry is i'm getting underneath of the house this crawl space entrance is very 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 small after i shot this video i think what the best way to repair this is to actually rip up all the flooring in the house to do this repair and then brace all this stuff from the top of the house so you can access the crawl space because i used to clean air ducts for uh, stanley steamer and when they used to send me to, to jobs like this i used to be just so furious trying to work on air ducts underneath here so i know what it's like to have no room especially if i'm gonna have to oh there i am popping in oh i can't reach the camera Oh, I can't reach it. Come on. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, you know, I know what it's like. I, there's no way you can dig in here. You have to dig it from the top down. So, um, we'll get started in here. My camera work isn't real well on this video. There's a lot of things I am. I'm a, a semi-amateur Pokemon hunter where I've caught them all, but I don't know anything about construction. So, and I'm panning around. I'm, I'm dazed and confused. I'm amazed at how many spider webs I'm running into because the guy that came and bid me for twenty thousand uh, dollars, once I got underneath here, there's an awful lot of spider webs. As soon as you will get in here, and for someone that was supposed to come in here, you would think he would have wiped all these spider webs out. So, okay, so that this uh, this here, okay, I'm setting the camera up, of course, as the flashlight falls. Um, now we're uh, not in focus. Okay, this here, this is the main beam underneath of my kitchen that I'm having the problem with. And that that brick bat there has moved and isn't even touching this board. And we'll come back to this, but you can see the black where this board has suffered from moisture. And the moisture has been caused by the guy had a dryer vent in here. And the dryer vent went down into the crawl space and exhaled all the dryer heat right on that board. Um, so that board runs right underneath of the kitchen next to the, the, the dryer space that I'm having the problems with. Okay, so someone has come in here and supported this with this metal beam. And what they did, I don't know how they got these beams and this wood under here if they jacked it up because they would have had to jack the house up and then lay it on this beam. And this all looks like it's nice and tight, so there's not any flex in it. But... It's not supported very well. And I mean, it's not supported like at all. So, essentially, this is the only beam support in this house that I'm getting the wiggle on. Now we went dark. Okay, here we go. Now this is like a video game. This is like a first-person shooter here. And this beam here is basically holding the entire weight because my furnace is located in my attic right above essentially where my dryer is so all that weight is coming down through the house down onto this single beam here and there's nothing else no other beams here besides this brace of the house on these sides and that's why they probably put this metal metal uh brace in and i think this this here is from the water washing out from the crawl space entrance down into this crawl space but I really don't like how they supported all this stuff with just pieces of wood and I don't think that brick bat to the left if I pan back in on it I don't think it's touching either so this the ground has started to move down now those two brick bats are touching now that's going to be more toward the kitchen area that'll go from the kitchen to the living room and that's where I'm mostly having problems as well but I need to brace this this beam here and I'm not sure the correct term of it. This this needs to be braced better with those metal adjustable braces. And then go along all on this right side and put the adjustable braces in as well. The guy at the foundation repair, he was he was wanting to put 15 of those braces in. 
and split the building in three parts and go five down the middle, five on the right side, and five down the left side. <clears throat> and I'm mainly just trying to focus over here on the, because that'll be to the kitchen area. That's where all my problems are is here. And see, someone's come in and put one in there. And those slats there, those X slats, uh, a few of them are actually broken. And that could be some of the problem as well. But this house is old. And there's just no room to work. So I'm kind of... I'm kind of confused in here. I, I'm more upset about all the cobwebs that I've run into because this guy that was supposed to get down in here, here's what, there's the dryer vent there. So the dryer vent there was ex excelling, if I pan up again, right there where that pipe is, that's where all the moisture was coming down when I had the dryer hooked up. But this beam here, this is, this needs to be braced here. And it almost looks like the moisture had started getting to this wood. I've actually seen damage from that stuff before and that's from like that's basically like dry rot moisture in there and then drying out I think I'm not a hundred percent sure but it felt solid it wasn't it wasn't soft the garage that I have has this kind of wood that's starting to rot away and it's soft it's it's just a matter of time before it falls down too but yeah this is the main beam and then I need supports all the way to the right as well but th this is this explains where all the flex is coming from because there's no bracing underneath of there either so i think i just need to come in and lay some cement and then get a bunch of the braces and maybe a couple pieces of wood to support this but i'm not 100 percent sure so i had to cut all the audio out because i was cussing so much when i was underneath of here but this is a real unexpected event for me because I finally got stuff uh, taken care of uh, financially, and I've I had a discussion with my employer a couple of weeks ago about me dropping some buildings so I can pursue some other stuff, kind of, on the side that I'm doing on YouTube. And uh, after I had this guy come in and quote me twenty thousand dollars, I thought, here we go, I'm still going to be working, you know, like crazy. So I have to get this fixed. This is this is top priority. Because I, I, I'm not going to be able to make any more YouTube videos until I get this sit whole situation fixed with my house. So, okay, uh, Terry, I want you to look at this and see what you think and then get back to me. And this is where all the weight is. This is where the floor is moving all the way down. It's not even touching it. And it's just flexing.